Hello, welcome to Pilates Network. So today we're going to be doing a lot of upper body scapular mobility and strengthening. So we're going to be doing a lot of plank work today on the side and um, on the hands, forearms, um, different things. So that being said, if you need knee cushion for some of that stuff, because maybe you need to modify the planks by putting a knee down, then I recommend having a folded blanket so you have that. For people that tend to be a little bit more wristy um, in their practice, now if you don't have one of these, that's okay, but I do want to talk about it because it's a nice tool. Um, you can get these little wedges, and they're not that expensive, and they come in different heights. But if you tend to be a little bit wristy, what this wedge will do is it will help have some stability and lift your the meaty part of your hand up a little bit. So you're not so much hyper extending here. You've got that little bit of a lift and that forces more weight into the back side of the body and it takes some pressure off here. So that's just an idea if that's something in yoga or Pilates um, that you would like to explore. I don't get, this one is a Guyam brand. I don't get any comps or kickbacks, but um, just know that those things are out there. If you don't have that today, but you think, well, I might, I might benefit from a little bit of a lift in the wrist, you can bring in another blanket here. Make sure it's just not too high because the blanket is not as stable um, as a wedge. And that will give you a little bit of a lift here. Okay. So that being said, let's start supine onto our backs. So as you come onto the back, just roll the shoulders back a little bit here into their pocket. And take your feet about hip width apart or a little bit wider and just go into a nice little windshield wiper. Because if for no other reason, when we come onto our backs, this just feels good. All right. From here, I'm going to bring everything in. I'm going to take my palms up to the ceiling and I'm just going to lift. I'm going to go back to where I can go and come forward. And back, my belly button is in and forward. I want my low rib cage to try to stay grounded here. Good. Now, palms down, take it back. So just a little bit of a rotation. We did the harder one a little bit first, kind of the awkward one. Good. Now, palms turn up, take hands to the shoulders. Elbows can come up here and just open and close. Now I'm gonna open up to the side and we're gonna go to a chicken wing. So I'm gonna let those elbows and arms drag along the ground coming into the side of the body. And then I'm gonna lift that back up. And I'm gonna drag and lift and drag and lift and drag and lift, good. Release, take the arms to the side. We're going to come to our side and go into some pinwheel movements. So I'm just going to turn over onto my right side because that's the side that's going to face you. My knees are going to be bent here, and I want my shoulders and hips to be in this alignment. My right arm is straight out in front of me. My left hand is going to come on top. I want my fingers to be even here. So when I have my arms out, I don't want the left hand to come back and have that space. So I want them to be even and lined up. So from here, when you're ready, we're gonna drag that left hand on the floor and we're gonna take it back. Try to keep those fingers on the floor as we open. Good, feel that stretch. Belly button is in, you're going to rotation here. And we'll take that back around. Good, and we'll go again. Taking it back. Good, now let's hold this one open for a moment. Feel that nice stretch. and we'll come back forward good from here we're going to open and close so belly button is in i'm going to open take it back and close i've got a wall in my way here but we'll open and close open and close open and close good from here come on back onto your back and we're gonna take this into a twist. So I'm gonna take my knees into tabletop, knees over hips is parallel to the floor, 
arms to the side. I'm going to take my knees to my right, trying to keep left shoulder grounded as I look to the left, as I look to the left. Try to speak a little clearer there. Breathe and expand. Good, now head comes back to center. If you've got a little bit of a back issue, take one leg at a time back to center or use your abs to bring both back in the center. And when you're ready, we'll take that pinwheel series to the other side. So I'm gonna lower my feet. Good, I'm gonna look, roll over onto my left side now. Good, my knees are bent, shoulders and hips are in alignment. Left arm is straight out, right arm is on top. Remember, you want those fingers to line up. Belly button is in. And we're gonna drag those right fingertips up and around. And we'll come in open and drag that back. Good. And we'll come back and we'll open. Maybe holding a stretch here. And notice as you drag back, do you have a tighter side or a more open side? So this is my more open side. My other side was my tighter side for sure. And I'm gonna pause here for a moment again. Remember belly button is in because the spine's going into rotation. And we'll take that back around. Good, line those fingertips up. We're gonna open and close. I'm gonna open and close. Open and close. Open, maybe hold it open and close. Good. From here, come back onto the back. We're gonna take that twist to the other side. So from here, rolling shoulders back, knees in tabletop position. Good, I'm gonna let those knee arms out to the side. This side, not by the body. I'm gonna take those knees over to the left. Good. Breathe and expand, looking to the right. Good, when you're ready, head will come back to center. One leg at a time or use your abs to come in. Let's wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. And then from here in the way that's best for you, you can roll over to the side and come to a seat. Or if you wanna cross the ankles and roll a little bit, you can roll all the way up to a seat. We're gonna come right into all fours. So if you want a blanket for knee cushion, or for wrist cushion, you can bring those in here. Now, I don't need wrist cushion today, but I do need knee cushion. All right, so coming to all fours, spreading the fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of pinky, pointer, and thumb. Knees are gonna be about hip width apart here. Good, just take that into some nice cat cows. So we're still in kind of some pre-Pilates here, just warming up and preparing the body for our deeper, stronger, more challenging work. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, let's take this into plank number one. So from here, good. you can walk forward a little bit if you need to keep knees down, okay? Or you can lengthen the legs, tuck, and just press up. Now, this is just a basic plank. This isn't any, you know, funny business here, but I'm really pressing the floor away, maybe taking the sternum forward just a little bit. Now, notice how you feel here. Make that memory. You're going to see this several times. And then we'll take that down. Find a child's pose. Let's continue loosening up. Let's come to a thread the needle. So from here, we're back in all fours. I'm gonna start, belly button is in, right arm's gonna come out. I'm gonna thread it behind the left and come down. I want my hips to be over the knees as much as possible. And I don't wanna press my ear into the mat. So if you're noticing, I've got that long line from crown to tail. If you're pressing the ear into the mat like this, you've got that little break in engagement from the neck. We don't want that. So you want that up a little bit here. 
Use that left hand and arm and shoulder to help support you. We'll press through that left hand, coming back up. We'll take that to the other side. Left arm comes out, thread it behind the right, coming down. Hips over the knees, long line, crown the tail. Use your right arm, hand, and shoulder to help you with that alignment if you need that. Good, and when you're ready, press through and coming back. All right, let's go into some more little balance challenges here. I'm gonna have my left hand on the floor, my right knee on the floor. I'm gonna take my left leg back, right arm forward, reach. Could you lower the left hip slightly so the pelvis is more even? Could you press out of that left shoulder? Good. Now point that toe, we're gonna tap, arm and leg together. One, and lift. Two, lift. Three, lift. Four, lift. Five, lift. Six, lift. Reach, reach, reach. Take that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you need to come back and decompress, always listen to yourself and do so. We're gonna do that to the other side. Now the right hand's gonna come down, left knee's gonna be grounded, right leg comes back, left arm comes forward. Press away, right hip will drop a smidge, belly button is in. We'll point that back toe, here we go. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Reach, and we'll take that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, so we're gonna go into a plank down dog combo. So if you know you're gonna take your knees down into the plank and you're using a blanket, leave that right here. If you're not gonna do that, move your blanket out of the way. Taller people, take a half a hand's width or full hand's width forward. Shorter people, you're likely fine where you are. Tuck the toes. We're going to lift and shift. Find that down dog. Pressing in a big toe and pinky toe mounds and then forward into the hands. Now, I can keep my or take my heels down here. Most people cannot. That took me eight years to do. So if that's not where you are, don't go there. You can even take your feet back a little bit more. Good. From here, inhale. Exhale, hinging the hips, that's gonna be harder, or bending the knees, that's gonna be easier. Find your plank. Shoulders are over or slightly behind the wrist. Sternum's gonna come forward just a little bit. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees or hinge the hips, find down dog. Inhale, exhale, find the plank. Inhale, exhale, find down dog. Inhale. Exhale, find that plank. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Lower those knees, child's pose. Breathe. All right, whenever you're ready, we're gonna come onto our back now and we're gonna come back to plank. We're going to come into three chest lifts and then go right into our hundreds. So from here, knee or feet are gonna be down for this first one, arms are up. And let's do some protraction, retraction while we're here. Let's protract, retract, protract, retract, protract, retract, protract, retract. Good, palms face the feet. Big inhale, exhale, nod the chin, lift, reach, 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 look to those thighs. Arms lift, lower down, knees and tabletop. Inhale, exhale, C curve it up, reach, reach, reach. Arms lift, lower that down. Inhale, exhale, C curve it up, reach arms and legs. The lower you go, the harder it is, but not at the expense of the back. Bend the knees, lift the arms, come down. We're gonna take this into the hundreds now. Knees can be in tabletop or you can reach the legs long, your choice. Inhale, exhale, C, curve it up, 
Reach long, start pumping long from the shoulders. And we inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach deeper. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, hold. Lift up higher, reach deeper. And take that down. Woo! Knees into the chest. Rock, 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 side to side. All right. We're going to practice roll ups, roll downs, roll overs here. I'm going to roll over to my side and come up. So we'll do this in stages. If you already have these in your practice and you, you know, can do the full and want to do that, go ahead and practice that. You don't have to wait for me. But those of you that are newer, option one, knees are going to be bent. You can hold on. You're going to rock the pelvis back, C curve, and you're going to come back to your point of control, which is the point where you either need to keep going back or your legs need to come up. So once you feel that, you've reached your limit and you'll come back up. Good. You can do the same thing with long legs. Whoops. Good. And coming back up, you can roll all the way down. And then maybe you can roll up, maybe not. So if you only want to practice what I was just doing, just the roll down or that little prep, come back up and just prep that. And then if you're just doing roll down, roll over to your side, come back up and you'll start again. Roll up, people. We'll see if I can do this today. Inhale, exhale. Oh, I'm still favoring the left side and my legs are coming up. Good. So ideally, you don't want the legs to come up and you want to come up through center, not to the right or to the left. So I'm going to modify this today. Um, it's a little bit harder. I had a hard workout yesterday, so my back is not real happy. So you choose yours. Just a few. You don't need to do a whole lot. Good. Now, you can stay working with this. You can take a break. Some of us are going to take this into the roll over. When you roll over, you don't want to come onto the neck. So if you feel this bone back here popping out and being uncomfortable, that's your cue. You've gone back too far. Okay. But we'll take this back. Good. I'm going to open my legs shoulder width apart, and then I'm going to slowly roll down. Good. And you can take this and make this even a little bit harder by rolling all the way back up and over and then moving right into the next one if you're ready for that challenge. Good. Oof, that's a little bit too fast, but I will take it. And one more. Oh, maybe not. I need a little bit more leverage today. Woo. There we go. Yeah. Good. And once you've completed that, knees into the chest, rock, 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 side to side. Take the head and neck from side to side. We're going to take this into a stretch. So right foot can come down. Take your hands behind that left leg. Travel up as high as you can go. Point and flex your foot. Roll that ankle in one direction. And then in the other. Good. And then from here when you're ready. Good. Now I'm going to cue big circles here. If you need to take small ones, take small ones. But um, you, this is also core work. So belly button stays in, hips stay grounded, shoulders stay grounded. Bigger or more challenging than smaller. So I'll take that down, out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring that knee back in. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Take that to the other side. So still zip up here too from the pubic bone to behind the navel. Belly button is in. 
Right leg comes up, take your hands behind that right leg. Let's get a stretchy. Point and flex that foot. Roll that ankle in one direction. Good, and then the other. Good. And then when you're ready, good. Release, small circles if you need it easier, large if you need it harder. Hips don't leave, we're nice and tight in the abs. And here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring those knees in, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's go into some single leg stretch here. So knees are in tabletop, arms are up, big inhale, exhale, I'm gonna see, curve it up. I'm gonna take my right hand to my left. That's right, right hand to my left knee, left hand to my ankle, right leg long. Sorry about that, I still have some remnants of COVID going through my mind, and we'll switch. And two, hips stay even, three, really reach, four, five, lift up higher, six, Seven and eight. Good. Double leg stretch. We'll bring the knees in. Good. Inhale one. Exhale two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring those knees in. We'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle again. Take the head and neck from side to side. And we're gonna roll like a ball here to come into all fours again. So you can cross at the ankles. We'll come up, good. And here we go, one, two, three, four. Coming all the way up, coming back into all fours. I'm gonna bring this blanket back in. The blanket can be kind of bulky here too, but when your knees need it, then you need it. So from here, what we're going to do is we're gonna go into some push-ups, and we'll go into another down dog plate flow. It's a little bit different than the first one we did. So from here, we're gonna do a couple sets. So we're in down dog, blah, 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 blah. we're in all fours. We're gonna take this into a tricep push-up first. So the elbows are gonna come straight back. We're only gonna do five, and you only need to come down halfway. So press that floor away, belly button is in. Good, halfway lower, one, two, shoulders are stable, three, four, five. Good, now slightly turn, hands, elbows, shoulders inward. Elbows are gonna go out to the side for five chesty push-ups here. And we'll go one, press, two, exhale, press. Three, four, five. Take that back for a moment. Leave your blanket here if you're using that. If you're gonna take a knee down plank as we come through the second down dog plank flow. Otherwise, find your way to your down dog. Good. So I've got a nice down dog. I'm pressing that in forward into my mat. Inhale, exhale, move forward into that plank. Good. Now this time we're gonna do this through the roll. So from the plank, when you roll, you're really gonna press through the hands. You're gonna start at the chest, tucking, I'm rolling through and taking it back down dog. To move back into the plank with the roll, I'm gonna lift the hips. I'm starting with the lower body, I'm rounding and coming into the plank. And then we'll lift and roll. Down dog. 
lift and roll into plank. This is strong movement. Lift and roll. Down dog. Lift and roll. Find your plank. Knees down. Take a little break. Good. Good work. Good work. All right. Let's come to a seat. You can sit on your blanket if that would feel comfortable to you as well. I'm going to move mine out of the way. Good. So I'm going to start with spine twist. And I'm, you're going to see me probably move in different directions here just so you get a better feel on what we're doing. So my legs are forward. They're a little bit wider than body width apart. Let your knees just kind of be at ease. Arms are going to be out to the side. Good. And we're going to twist. So this is where it's harder. So this is not a good twist here. Be in control. It's from the torso. This is like a long rod here that doesn't move. So big inhale. We're going to twist. Twist, center, twist, twist, center, two, twist, twist, center, 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 twist, twist, center. Relax. Good. From here, we're going to take the spine stretch forward. So for this one, I'll turn this way. So imagine you're sitting up against an imaginary wall and you're peeling off and on that wall. So you start with a nice tall spine, zip up through that front body. From here, inhale, exhale, nodding the chin, rolling down bone by bone. You're getting deep into that C-curve scoop. Gaze is by the knees, ears are by the armpit, uh, ears are by the biceps. From the tailbone, I'm going to rock and come all the way back up. And we'll do that three more times. Inhale, exhale. This is core and flexibility. And three. And two. A nice breath. Don't forget to breathe. We're relaxing the shoulders. And one. And coming back. Good. From here, we're going to go into side spine stretch. There's different ways you can sit. You can be crisscross applesauce, legs forward. If you're newer, arms out to the side is going to give you a little bit more support when you come over or take hands behind the head. Wherever you're going, really think about squeezing that low rib cage and the top of that hip together. Okay, so from here, relaxing the shoulders, we're going to go to the right and left and right and left and hips don't leave and right and left and right and left and right. And left, and right, and left. Come all the way back up, arms out, going right into saw. Rotate, reach and round. Come back up. Rotate, reach and round. Back up, rotate, reach and round. Hips are grounded. Rotate, reach and round. Come back up and relax. Excellent, excellent work. We're going to go into open leg rocker balance and the rock. So from here. And if you can't go into the rock, the balance is where you're going to stay for a little bit longer or practice that. So for the balance, different things for different people, you can grab the foot, you can grab the toes, you can grab the shins. So when I'm just doing the balance, I can grab my toes or feet. You've got a long spine here. So if you collapse to the low back, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay, so you're balancing those sit bones. I'm zipping up through that front body. Good. Now from here, we'll take a little break. Those of you that aren't going to rock, we'll do that again. Those of you that are going to rock, will rock with me now. I've got, I'm a short person, short arms. I can't rock well if I'm holding on to my toes or my feet. So I modify that by holding on to my shins. So if you're in that same boat, take the modification as you need to. Careful not to roll on the neck. When you're ready, inhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, with a smile, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, fight for it, find that balance, find that balance, and take that down. Good. We're going to come all the way forward here, coming into prone, which is belly down. So from here, my legs are going to be hip width apart, and I'm going to press my toes, my feet, the tops of my feet into my mat. I'm going to take my hands a little forward and to the side. Elbows are in and they're grounded. We're going to come into swan. Now, if you need to keep this into a baby swan, this will be you. And those of you that are going to come into full swan with me, elbows will lift. We're going to do six of these. So belly button is in. Good. And we'll press. Shoulder stability. Shoulders in their pockets and lower. How high you come matters not as long as you're not crunching. And exhale two. Exhale three. Exhale four. Exhale five. Exhale six. And take that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's go into a quad stretch here. I'm going to just kind of take my hands up here. Bend that right knee. Now, for some of you, this might be it. And lengthening from hip to knee. Others are going to grab pants or foot. Good. Lengthening hip to knee here. Just find that stretch. Breathe. And release with control, no slingshotting. We'll take that to the other side. Good. So left knee's gonna bend. Some of you, this is gonna be it, reaching from hip to knee. Others, reach back, grab pants or foot. Reaching from hip to knee. Good and release. Okay, so going to the single leg kick here, I'm gonna come up. So this is scapular stability again. So I don't wanna hang down in here. I'm pushing away, <laughs> you're protracting, protracting. Push away, starts with a P, good. From here, when you're ready, I'm gonna start with my right side. My belly button is in, my shoulders are relaxed. And I'm going to flex, flex, down. Squeeze those glutes, flex, flex, down. Flex, flex, down, flex, flex, down. Now, point, flex, lower, 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 point, flex, lower. Lower it all down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We'll take this into swan dive. So if you are not ready for swan dive because you're still working on baby swan, you're gonna go back and do that again. If you can do the high swan, you can try swan dive with me. So making sure hands are a little forward to the side of the shoulders, belly button is in. Inhale, exhale, we'll lift and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Take that down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hands under the shoulders. Press back child's pose. Woo. It's time for another down dog plank variation. So bring that blanket back in here. If you're going to drop the knees, we're going to add a leg lift here. So from here, from all fours, find your downward facing dog. Good. Now we're just going to stay on one side and then go to the other. So four times to each side, eight times total. Right leg's gonna lift, we're in the three point here. Inhale, exhale, one leg plank. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. And this fourth one, cross it over, squeeze. Take it back up, lower down, left leg lifts, inhale, 
exhale. Here's one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Cross. Squeeze. Undo. Take that down. Woo. Find that little break. We're gonna come back onto our backs here for a little bit more supine work. And we're gonna come into straight leg, single straight leg stretch here. So I'm gonna start on the left side. Then my right leg's gonna be in a hover. Good. So remember, hips stay grounded here. So we're gonna come up into the C curve, pull, switch, pull, switch, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Taking that down for a moment, double straight leg stretch. You can do this upper body grounded or in C curve. That will be harder. Some people like to sit on their hands here too for a little bit more stability. Whatever works for you works for me. Legs up. Good, coming up, inhale down, exhale, lift one, exhale two, exhale three, exhale four, exhale five, exhale six, exhale seven, exhale eight. Woo. Take that down, knees and tabletop, it's crisscross time. Hands behind the head, elbows out to the side. Remember, we're leading the shoulder, not the elbow. And your legs are doing single leg stretch move movements. So from here, inhale, exhale. I'm going to come up to the right and switch. Two, hips stay grounded. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, Woo. and take that down. Let's wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side one more time. All right, and because we're down here, let's make the most of it. Take your feet down and just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side. And let's come into a figure four stretch here before we move in a side plank series. So I'm gonna cross my right ankle over the left knee. This might be it for some people, or you can bring this in. You can rock a little bit. Good, and we'll switch. Good, left ankle over right knee. You can stay here or you can bring that in. Go where you need to go here. I love rocking my pigeons. So this is a supine pigeon, the belly down pigeon. And that all works the same thing. There's also the figure four chair combo that's standing, that's a balance challenge. That's still the same kind of stretch. Different ways to do the same stretch. And when you're ready, we'll take that down. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna turn onto my right side and come to a seat. We're gonna go into side planks here and I'm gonna show on the basic side plank different things for different people. So I'm gonna bring my blanket back in here. Yeah, all right. So from here, I've got my knees on the blanket. We're going to balance on the right hand so I'm gonna take my left foot, left leg out to the side. And you can, if you're short, you know, you can always bring a block in here too if you need it. But this might be side plank for some people today. Good, next step, that bottom leg's gonna come behind or you can stack. Good. So this shoulder is over or behind the wrist, it's not forward. And I'm trying not to let my hips dip here for right now. Good. And when you're ready, yeah, we'll take that down. Switch over to the other side. 
We'll see how we are over here. And then we're gonna add things on. So coming here, left knees down, right legs coming out, left hand is down. This might be it for some people. And I forgot to, you can always lift this leg here if this is what you need. Good. Otherwise, left leg can come behind the right. You can stack. Find what you need. This is my harder side for sure. And when you're ready, again, carefully come out of there. All right, this time we're going to add dips. And so by adding dips, we're going to dip the hip down and lift it back up. Okay. So find your side plank. I'm going to practice here. Good. So I've got a little dip. And I'm pressing up. Maybe I want to arc over and a little dip and a press. If you're strong, you can tap and come over one more. Good. Now, while we're here, let's take that into scoop. So I'm going to lift, I'm going to reach, I'm going to come back, dip, lift, hinge and reach, come back, dip, lift, hinge and reach. Come back, come down. We're gonna take that to the other side. That is challenging, regardless of level. Let's take that to the other side. My hair is going all over the place, even though I have a headband. Good, so find your point here on the left side. Good. And when you're ready, good, dip and lift an arc. Dip, lift an arc, dip, lift an arc. Rotate and come back up and dip. Lift, rotate, lift up and dip. Lift, rotate, come back up and come down. Woo, that was challenging. Really hard for me with this shoulder. All right, let's come to a forearm plank. This is the last plank we're going to do. Knees can be grounded if you need to. I'm going to bring this out to the side. All right. From here, when you're ready, coming down. Good. You can clasp the hands together or keep them in line with your shoulders. Your shoulders are going to be over the elbows or behind them. Knees can be grounded or lifted. And whenever you're ready, big inhale. Exhale again. Think about that protraction. You're pressing away from the floor. Some of you, this is going to be it. Others are going to take this into sternum drops. Lowing and lift, retract, protract, retract, protract, retract, protract. Take that down. Woo, child's pose. All right. Last thing we're going to do before we shoulder stretch out our shoulders is push-ups and i'm going to give you the option here you can go back and do the all fours push-ups that we did earlier in class which is this one that'll be the easier one you can move forward and take knees down here or you can do these from a high plank okay so find where you're going to do that i'm going to take knees down on these um, if you want the tricep push-ups, elbows are going to come straight back. If you want more chest work, you're going to turn everything in slightly. So the elbows go out to the side a little easier. Okay. Only five. If one really good one is all you can do, stop there. Don't plow through in bad form just to get to a number. Find your figure four or point. And here we go. Inhale halfway down. Exhale one. Exhale two. Exhale three. Exhale four, exhale five. Take that back, child's pose, and have a seat. Let's stretch out our upper body. So from here, let's take the hands together, clasping, press away and round. We all deserve the stretch. This was not an easy practice today. Most people prefer the lower body and Pilates, but we also need to balance that with the upper body. Good. We'll take that back up. Take your hands behind you, clasp, grab, 
hands, wrists, elbows, wherever it is. Press down and open the front side. Big deep breaths here, nice expansion in that rib cage. You're feeling stronger already. And then from here, let's take the arms up overhead, touching hands together, bend the elbow straight back, tricep stretch. Taking that up, good. I'm gonna take my right arm across. And on this one, I'm taking my arm straight across. Different things for different people. Some people find it better if you come up a little bit, playing with different angles. Find an angle that works for you. My left arm's gonna come up and help me with that stretch. And maybe lean a little bit over. And then coming back, good. Left arm's gonna come across, play with different angles. Right arm comes underneath, assisting with the stretch. And then if you want, you can lean a little bit to the side. Good. Coming back, take your arms, uh, palms to the ceiling and press away, little bicep stretch. Release, big inhale, turning palms away, exhale. Growing taller, growing stronger. Way to go, you made it through this intense upper body scapular strengthening and mobility challenge. I hope you had a fun and sweaty time and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.